Hello there, and warm welcome to Meridian Tonight. After almost 200 years of service, find out why the wind has quite literally been taken out of the sails of this historic building. Well, another beautiful spring day today, and we know that because Simon Parkin has decided to get out and about again. Well, every job has its perks, doesn't it? So, where are you tonight, Perky? Well, Fred, I'm somewhere where I actually feel quite tall. I am in a historic building. Now, go back a couple of hundred years, and there'd have been one of these in every town. But now windmills are fewer and further between, and those that are here need a lot of TLC to keep them up to spec. This is one of the few that works still in the whole of the south and the southeast, and the only one in Hampshire. And, and why does it need repairing, Tom? Well, the wind shaft, which is the main shaft that supports the sails and drives the machinery, has got some decay, so it needs to be replaced. And that's that big black thing that's sticking out there, isn't it? That's right, yes. And, and that needs to be completely changed, and in order to change that, you've got to get rid of these two. So the sails have been taken off today. That's right, we've started the job. So we've taken the first three sails off, which was a massive lifting job with a huge crane, and not least because they're very delicate, so we had to make sure that the sails themselves didn't get damaged. And there's still one more to go, and then one Whilst they're down, they're going to have a bit of restoration work of their own, aren't they? That's right. I mean, we're going to actually be giving the whole mill a, a, a kind of going over, so the, the sails are going to be fully restored. And actually, that's one of the things that volunteers will be able to get involved with. Which is lovely, isn't it, to, to be able to take part in a little bit of history? That's right. I mean, that's people from the local area, but also further afield can come and get involved and really make their mark and, and kind of see their work for years to come. And, and inside, when the mill is working, as we see in the pictures now, it's quite an impressive process, isn't oh, it? It's a fantastically exciting thing when it's running. I mean, it's a real adrenaline rush when it's fully working, yes. And you actually do mill proper flour here, don't you? That's right. It's very important that this is a working mill and it does still produce food. And you get a lot of tourists coming and having a look and you must be a bit peeved that you've picked the time when the weather's lovely. Yes, well, it's, lots of people come, not just tourists, children, school children, all sorts of people come. Yes. But it will be back, hopefully, ship shape and ready to go in a couple of years' time. That's right. 2014 is actually the 200th birthday of this mill, so our intention is that the restoration will be finished in time for that, so we can have a grand reopening and be back producing. Well, I, if I don't get an invitation, there'll be trouble. But um, yes. look, thank you very much for, for letting us have a look around. Wind, I don't think there's much in the forecast, but let's have a check. you probably know how the weather story is going to go. We've had a gorgeous day today, wall-to-wall -to -wall blue skies. So guess what? Tonight, with the clear skies continuing, it's going to get very cold very quickly. Temperatures down as low as two or three in the rural spots, cold enough for a touch of frost. And we'll also see some mist rolling in as well, although it won't amount to very much thanks to the very dry air. And come tomorrow morning, as soon as that sun gets to work, it's going to very quickly burn off. And again, we're in for another glorious day. Dazzling sunshine all the while. And temperature-wise, even warmer than today. We've got a peak tomorrow and maybe 22 Celsius, 72 in Fahrenheit, a proper summertime temperature. But then it all starts to go wrong towards the end of the week. By Friday, we see the high pressure nudging off to the west, and that means that this weather front can come down, just bringing us a bit more cloud, although by Saturday, that cloud could well be thick enough for a spot or two of drizzle. But the big difference is going to be how much cooler it feels through Thursday and into Friday, still very mild. But by Saturday, we're back to to where we should be for this time of year.